講啲英文啦，好唔好？因為 so、uh, first of all, thank you so much for all of your coming.、Uh, today we have、uh, we have a meeting with the chief secretaries. As we know that there is a budget、uh, about five hundred million dollars、uh, provided to、uh, serve serve the ethnic minorities in coming、uh, all these years. We we are really welcome about this、uh, new resources. As we, as we see, there's a lot of difficulties that all our ethnic minorities are facing in this、uh, many years, especially in education,、um, uh, employment,、uh, healthcare issues, and integration.、Uh, we do think that. Um, there's a big issues and, and difficulty for them. Um, so um, today we we have met with the chief secretaries and、uh, we think that、uh, we we are very uh, uh, happy to hear what chief exec chief secretary said, and、um, we we can feel that their determinate determination、uh, to serve the community.、Um, and we have different suggestions that we have made the report、uh, about the whole、uh, budget about、um, for the ethnic minorities and. Uh, I think uh, uh, the the CS are really open about our suggestions, and we we are looking forward that that the chief secretaries、uh, in later future they have a response in all our suggestions and our, our policy advice.、Um, 好啦，咁我就咧講到去呢度先，咁不如我就請我哋主席就講幾句好冇，跟住我哋再請下大家分享下頭先同個會面嘅感覺好嘛？主席。誒咁，我哋民建聯嘅少數族裔委員會咧，係即係設置有個服務中心十多年啦。咁其實誒、呃，我哋除咗喺我哋總部設嘅服務中心之外咧，亦都係同即係比較多嘅少數族裔朋友咧<咳>居住嘅地方咧，係成立咗多個嘅合作點嘅。咁喺過往，我哋嘅工作同埋收到唔少誒、呃、少數族裔嘅市民所反映咧。係有啲個案，做一啲關於佢嘅意見，所以 you can speak about the、yeah. kindergarten primary issues. Oh yeah,、uh, like my friends also mentioned about the kindergarten issues, but I'm mostly focusing on any school or any educational institute. How like teachers are not well trained、uh, to understand about culture, and so I feel that it's very important that teachers who are handling、uh, ethnic minorities are very culture sensitive, and it's very important that they not have some idea or background issues. About、uh, about our culture, so that when、uh, they are approaching our students or our uh, uh, children, then they understand that、uh, there are certain things that they have to respect, as we respect your culture. So,、uh, next point would be teachers should be a little bit trained to handle our uh, uh, students from our culture because sometimes、uh, we are all doing our in the correct、uh, way or right way, but due to、uh, difference in culture, it might come out differently. And also to teach the Chinese language,、uh, it's quite,、uh, quite difficult or different for us. So、uh, to understand and grasp. Okay, 咁我哋咧就請阿 Mr. Chikani 咧又同我哋講下呢，特別同佢講咗 healthcare 同埋呢個。Visa, Taiwan Co. Visa, right? Come on, you can come. Actually,、uh, in English, up to you. Up to you.、Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I was born and raised in Hong Kong. I speak Cantonese quite fluently. But after 1997,、uh, there has been a sort of a population explosion among the ethnic minorities. A lot of Pakistanis, Nepalese, and other Indian descendants. So the problems have become much more complex. But as、uh, Mr. Winston said, I'll just. Uh, speak on two. One is regarding、uh, the interpretation in public hospitals. I encountered recently because I went with my with my helper. I saw that 15 percent of the outpatients were non-Chinese, non-Chinese, and、uh, while registering up to seeing the doctor, there was a sub a lot of communication problems between the nurses while registering you, asking what illness you have, including the doctor. And I, I was assured that there were interpreters in government hospitals, but、uh, in Queen's Street, there, there was not. So we briefly、uh, explained the over issues to the CE, and he understand now very, very well. And he promised us that he will go back and consult and、uh, consider all the issues we raised today in the meeting, and he will help us, especially in employment. That many of the、uh, foreigner, like from India, Pakistan, they came here as a as for the education, and after that they can get a very easy job here in Hong Kong. But our local student who study and raise in Hong Kong still have problem for getting the employment. So we raise this issue issue today with the CE, and he promised he will solve these problem. Thank you very much.
Okay, uh, yeah. So uh, I mentioned to CS about two or three issues. Uh, one is about the, lately about the kindergarten teachers that Muslim uh, ladies are being rejected the job just because they wear the hijab, that is the hair hair veil, uh, not on the uh, not on the education or that they don't deserve the job. But the statement is very clear: if you take off your hijab, we'll give you the uh, employment in kindergarten because they say that the children will be scared of hijab. I mean, in their concept. The other thing we want to bring to the notice is that we would like to see uh, at least two or three ethnic minorities doctor available in all the hospitals. And we have also come to realize that due to language barrier and not being openly discussing the problem, the, the diseases are being diagnosed on their very severe level. Uh, I'm representing uh, our Nepalese uh, parents, who is Tapanita. She have to go to home, Rasli. So yeah, this is her problem. As a parents of Chinese, uh, you know, non-Chinese, it's very difficult to choose the school, Chinese medium of instruction and English medium of instruction. Uh, parents understand that Chinese is very important in Hong Kong. In this regard, they choose, they put their children in Chinese medium of instruction. But in the primary and secondary level, it is very hard to tackle with that problem because the parents don't know Chinese and the tuition center is very expensive and e school don't have enough support after e school so we urge the government to you know uh, implement the self studying strategy for em students or such a, like interactive learning program for the ems uh, not only the students also for the parents where whenever they feel free they got a free time they can go to interactive service and they can learn or gain some language and